Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for sharing that song. What a beautiful song. Um, Brother Jesus, thank you so much for sharing that. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, it's it's just a privilege to be gathered together this morning again for prayer. It's exciting to, um, to know that uh, we are living in such a time as this and that we God has given all of us an opportunity to press together, press closer to him in order to finish the work. And so I'm excited today. We have a special speaker, uh, Pastor David Pickup will be with us. And before um, Pastor David gives us the devotional, I would just like to have a short word of prayer and then I'll introduce uh, him and we'll get into the message. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for this opportunity. Lord, we thank you that you have called us out of darkness into your wonderful, wondrous life. Lord, this opportunity to serve you uh, is just, um, it's just amazing, Lord. We really could be wasting our time, our talents, and our energy for the work of Satan, but you have called us out and you've given us wonderful plans and opportunities to serve with you, Lord. And Father, as we come together, as we discussed about San Francisco, as we discussed about the uh, areas three and four and as we come together to you in prayer, we just pray that you would move mountains as a result of our requests. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, Pastor David has pastored for 14 years at the Central California Conference. And before he did that, he did Bible work for five years in the same conference. There's one thing uh, about David, if you haven't observed already, that is that he is loyal. And uh, he also served three years at a supporting ministry in Mexico. And that's where he met and married his wife. And they have two children, Danny and Sarah. And he currently serves as a pastor at the Hollister Church. So, Pastor David, we are so grateful for your service, your years of experience in ministry. And we are uh, waiting to hear what message God has from you for us this morning. Thank you so much. You're muted, Pastor. Brother David, if you are speaking, your mic is muted. Can you hear me now? Yes, there you go. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming at an early time of the day to gather together in Jesus' name uh, to pray and um, to meditate on God's word. Uh, like Brother Johnny said, um, my name is David, and uh, I have the privilege right now of pastoring in Hollister near for those of you who are joining us from far away that's by uh, San Jose and um, I want to share I want to be I want to share with you guys more of a testimony than than a meditation um, I've been uh, serving here for a year and eight months now and um, a big ministry of the Hollister Church is the Hollister SDA Christian School. Um, last year, we ended the year with 39 students. And before graduation, um, our principal let us know that she was taking a call uh, to somewhere else. And being that our school has been growing, um, we were approved to have a third uh, teacher uh, from the conference. And we had a college graduate lined up to um, help us out with grades three through five. But we also found out in the summer that uh, this individual was backing out of that commitment. So we were basically going to be left with one teacher for all grades at K through eight. And I'll be honest with you, um, there was a lot of concern about that. Um, I specifically remember in a school board meeting 
somebody said if we don't get the teachers um, that we need, we, we may have to close down the school. And, um, you know, it would have been very difficult for one teacher to teach uh, 39 students. We ended the year last year with 39 students. And so I'll be honest with you, we were biting our fingernails um, this summer. But I think of that quote taken from the book Desire of Ages that says, the path of sincerity and integrity is not a path free from obstruction, but in every difficulty, we are to see a call to prayer. And forgive me, I don't have the, the page number right now, but it's a quote that I've memorized because it just speaks to my heart. The path of sincerity and integrity, I believe that <clears throat> um, Hollister SDA Christian School is not our school, it's God's school. And we're and it's we're doing God's work. We're 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 discipling young people for the kingdom of heaven. More than half of the students are non-Adventist, and it's a big mission field. And to God be well, let me finish my testimony and I'll share with you what's going on right now. But you know, like like the quote says, the path of sincerity and integrity is not a path free from obstruction. And I believe that um God has led our leadership here in our conference. Um, I, I heard that 80% of the churches in CCC are uh, engaging in this one week of evangelism, September 7th through the 13th, including the Hollister Church. And, um, you know, and of course, San Francisco and, you know, passing out uh, the great controversy in San Francisco. You know, this is God's work, but it is not a work free from obstruction. And the quote ends once again by saying, but in every difficulty, we are to see a call to prayer. So we we prayed all summer long. Uh, we claim God's promises. I think of Matthew 18, where Jesus said, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. And so we claimed Bible promises. We prayed. Uh, of course, we did due diligence in 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 uh, in seeking for people, calling colleges, calling schools, uh, getting the word out. Um, and to God be the glory. Um, I don't even remember exactly when, but I know it was in July that we found out that God had provided a new principal grade six through eight teacher. And so we were able to move forward with, with basically continuing last year's operations. But also we were pleased to hear that um, God had provided a grades uh, three through five teacher, a retired teacher uh, from our local area uh, uh, committed to serving one year at our school um, to, to help us out in that area while we look for somebody uh, on a more permanent basis later on. So I, we praise God. We got the principal. We got the grades three through five teacher and and our K through, yeah, she was K through five last year, but now it's this year, it's K through two, she will continue. And so to God be the glory, we now have three full-time teachers, uh, two aides, one, um, you know, office manager. Um, and we now have 50 students. And so we are just praising the Lord for answered prayer. And I just want to encourage you with this small meditation this morning. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of details, a lot of planning that goes into, um, you know, uh, distributing the great controversy in San Francisco. And I'm sure there will be challenges, but I just want to encourage us 
God answers prayer. God answers united prayer. Once again, let me share with you that promise. In Matthew 18, Jesus said, If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. So let's continue to unite in prayer. And uh, even though we face challenges, let's continue to have faith that God in his time and in his way will answer the requests of God's people uniting in prayer. God bless you. Thank you for listening. And uh, let's, I'll turn the time over now to our, our prayer director as he or she will lead us in prayer.